Hi beauties! As you can see, I have a little bit of a different backdrop today because I cleared off the makeup from my vanity so I could fit some influencer boxes. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm so glad you made it. My name is Maria and I like to do all things skincare, makeup, fashion, and I love free stuff. I have loved free stuff my whole life. Like I had like a couponing phase where I like didn't pay for anything at the grocery store. Anyway, what I'm here to tell you about is influencer and how I got 10 box boxes in my first six months on influencer so i started saving the boxes somewhere along the way i don't have all of them but i have quite a few of them i also have one right here that i haven't opened yet so we are going to go through that today as i go just so you can kind of see what it's like so if you are here to either find out what influencer is or you're on influencer and you're not getting boxes you're not getting free stuff then this is the video for you i'm going to take you through my top 10 tricks of how to get more boxes because I'm pretty sure that it worked for me. Now, I love to review influencer boxes on my channel. I have a full playlist here. So if you want to see those, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm going to grab this one down so that we can get into it while we talk. And before we do, cue the intro. I know I look absolutely All right, so let's get through the basics. As we talk about Influencer, I am going to be doing some screen sharing over here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You can follow along and it should make a little bit more sense. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Influencer is a social media platform where you can go and write reviews, read reviews, basically everything under the sun is on Influencer. But I like to focus on the categories that I'm interested in, which is mostly makeup, skincare, fashion. So I'm going to be kind of leading towards that today. However, you'll see like this is a box of pasta behind me. It's delicious. And you can get all kinds of stuff on Influencer. So while I'm telling you about Influencer, my very first tip is sign up. You're not going to get anything for free if you don't just take the plunge and sign up. If you're watching this video trying to figure out whether you should sign up or not, just go ahead and sign up. It's free. It doesn't take very long. And either way, it's going to be fun. So uh, just sign up. So if you want to sign up, I will put my referral link down in the description box. It's easy. Click that link, head over to Influencer and get going. And once you sign up, complete your profile. I have talked to so many people that are like, oh, I didn't realize I should put my preferences in. Okay, well, if you don't you put your preferences in, they don't know what to send you. So go through, make sure it, everything is complete. If there are certain things you wouldn't want to get sent you, you wouldn't want to review, like if you don't have kids or you don't have pets, like you're not going to want kid products and pet products sent to you. So once you complete that profile, you will be eligible to get linked with those campaigns we talked about. And which means you will get a box box like this. So they call them box boxes. I have no idea where that name came from. But this, as you see, is a Simply Truth. They called it the Beauty Crate that we're just going to talk through today. I thought it would be a little bit of fun to open a box box while we're talking about them. So the second thing you want to do is link your social media accounts. So for me, I have an Instagram account where I post products and pictures and reviews. So I link that Instagram account and it boosts my score in Influencer. However, you do not have to be an influencer of any kind to use influencer. So don't think that if you just have a private account and share these with your friends and family, that is totally okay. Link your Facebook, link your Twitter, link your TikTok, link things like that, and it'll boost your score in influencer. The greater the score you have, the greater the chance you have of getting more free products. Social media is the best way to boost your influencer score that I've seen at least, because as my social media accounts grow, so does my influencer score. I will say if you're someone else that has a YouTube channel like I do, the YouTube link to like link your account just like doesn't work. I don't know. It's they've said they've been fixing it for like a year or two. I, I, I don't know. It is what it is. OK, we've done a lot of talking. Let's let me show you what's in one of these boxes. So I just opened this. There's this pretty I love this box. It's so like springy and fruity to me it's delicious so you'll get a card like this one right here um it'll have the brand name on it so this is simply truth i think simply truth is like the kroger line of beauty products like organic beauty products um 
This is market inspired beauty products infused with food based ingredients, no parabens, no synthetic fragrances, cruelty free, no harsh chemicals. Um, so that's really, really cool. And it'll tell you how to get started. It'll link you back to your profile over on Influencer. Once you get to your profile, it'll tell you all of the reviews you've done, the campaigns you're in, things to look out for. So I check that profile constantly. This also tells you all of your hashtags and things to tag. If you're doing it on Facebook and Instagram or any of those social media accounts, you want to use these. That'll also be in your campaign page over in Influencer, but don't forget to link those or else it will not work. These are basically the requirements you have to do as part of this campaign. So my third tip of how to get more free Vox boxes is to post reviews on Influencer daily or a few times a week if you can and use high quality pictures. So it's all about engagement. Social media these days is all about engagement and Influencer is no exception. I, since I take high quality pictures over on Instagram to build my Instagram profile, I use those same pictures on Influencer to try to get people to engage on them. So I will post a review of say, let's see what this is. These exfoliating sugar cubes, peach and apricot. I will post a picture of this. The better the picture is, the more likely people are going to like it or comment it or things like that. And when Influencer sees that I posted a great picture, it's also attached with a review of what I thought of the product. It's boosting their engagement on their platform. So they're more likely to send me products in the future because then I'm going to drive engagement back to their site. These smell delicious, by the way. Let's try to get these open. Sorry. Oh my goodness, these remind me of a little like Harper and Ari sugar cubes. There's so many in here. Oh, you can get such great things. I have gotten box boxes. You can see some of them. Um, Revlon, this I think, I don't remember what that one was. Might have been Pat, my Pat McGrath mascara. These were vitamins. This was a skincare product from Sephora. Um, this was another mix box of all kinds of stuff. So I've gotten some really, really cool products. But remember when you're taking those pictures, lighting counts, setup counts, aesthetic counts. That doesn't mean you have to spend your whole day trying to be an influencer and take these amazing pictures. Guys, I just use my camera. Insider info, I'm using my camera for all of this. So you can take some really nice pictures and try to boost up that engagement so you get more free stuff. Posting reviews daily is fairly easy for me. I just think, okay, I have like 20 things in my skincare routine each day or in my makeup routine and I swap them in and out. So if I review one of those each night, I can keep that going for a little while. I have like 20 lip glosses. That's like three weeks of reviews if I do one every day. I don't post a picture every single time, but sometimes I will. Sometimes I will just not do my pretty little Instagram picture and I'll hold it in my hand and try to get nice lighting to take it to post it with my review, um, just so I'm continuing to engage on their platform. Also, I like to sheet mask every day. If you've been on my channel long enough, you, you know I love masking and I use a different type of sheet mask almost every night or every other night. So I will just post that mask that I use and I will review it. Did I like it? Did I hate it? And I'm honest. Don't feel like you need to give five star reviews for everything because they'll know that's not true. So I will give my complete honest opinion. If I didn't like a product, I'm going to tell you I don't like a product. This Revlon box right behind me, I gave kind of a scathing review of the liquid liner and I really loved the mascara. And I said that on the reviews I did. I said that on my YouTube. I said that on my Instagram and they still kept sending me boxes. So they companies want to know the goods and the bads so that they can learn and grow. Okay. My fourth tip is do your snaps. I don't know why, but influencer loves snaps. They're kind of annoying. They take a little while. I'll just sit there while I'm like watching TV and go through them. Um, there are little things about like matching you to things like, have you tried this? Or what do you think about this? Or have you used this product before? Um, and it's just trying to use their algorithm to basically match you to different types of products or different type of content that you might be great to represent. Probably have like six or seven snaps to do. I try to keep that below 10 um, and under five if I can, because they're always going to post more. So keeping it at zero is kind of tough. If you can do that, that's awesome. But I will try to go in every few days and do a snap just so I'm being engaged on the platform to get a better chance of getting more boxes. Okay, let's see what is in here. Oh, there's these two little soaps, Beauty Crate soaps. This one is sea salt and seaweed and kelp. This one is almond and oatmeal and honey. I'm probably going to like this one a little better. But this one's pretty. Oh, I lied. That one smells so good. I don't use bar soap all that often, but I really should because it's less waste, less packaging. So I need to get back into it. I'll start out with these two. Number five, my tip is 
answer your emails from Influencer. Make sure you're checking them. They will send you an email to see if you're a good match for the campaign. So you click on it, you go into basically a survey. Some of them are short, some of them are long, but they are worth it. It's gonna tell you, are you interested in this? What color of this do you like? What are your skincare needs? And basically what they're doing is they're trying to match you to certain campaigns. So you'll do this survey where maybe they have like 20 campaigns that they're interested in. Maybe some's for makeup, some's for lip gloss, some's for pet care, some's for hair care. And if you said, oh, I have straight hair, then they're probably not gonna match you with like the curly hair product. So you wouldn't be a match for that campaign. But if you say, oh, I wear lipstick, daily they might match you to the lipstick campaign but if you ignore these emails you won't get matched to any of your campaigns I would also recommend I don't know if this has anything to do with it or not but since I'm sharing the tips that might have worked for me I try to do those emails as quickly as I get them because somehow I just kind of in my mind think okay say they are they have 100 boxes to send the first 100 people they match to might be the ones they match them with um, so I try to get to those as quickly as possible if you ever have issue with them on your phone, I have found that sometimes when I click in the email, it takes me like what to their website instead of the survey. Go on another device, go on a tablet, go on a computer, go on a laptop, and I've found that works for me. So if you've ever had that issue, little tip, um, just move off the mobile platform because sometimes I have a little bit of issues. Other things for emails, they will send you post campaign surveys. So they'll say, oh, we sent you this Revlon box. Do you like it or not? Um, what did you think of the products? Have you bought the products since you've gotten this box? always, 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 always answer those. Because if you're, if they're going to give you a free product and then you're going to be like, peace, I'm out, like, and not finish the campaign, why would they send you more free products? This is a business for them. You are representing their products. So you need to do your part. You need to take it seriously. I have answered all of the emails before and all of the emails after, and I keep getting sent boxes. So I really do think that's playing a part. Okay. Number six is Use the search function in Influencer. If I'm going to buy something, if I'm looking for a new mascara, or if I just want to find out about a new product, maybe I'm reviewing a new product for a YouTube video, I will go in Influencer and search new Maybelline mascara, and I will see what it pulls up, and then I'll click on different things, and I'll like a couple people's pictures, because again, I'm engaging in their platform. I'm showing that I'm interested in this type of mascara. So in my head, if I'm showing on their platform, I'm interested in trying mascaras because I'm searching for them. Maybe they're more likely on linking me to a campaign that has mascaras. Again, I don't work for influencer. I don't have the inside scoop, but I do a lot of searching for different products on their website. And I have been very blessed by the amount of boxes I've gotten. So it really might be playing a part. If you look around your house, anything in your house is going to be on influencer. So if you're looking for a new stroller or if you're looking for a new bag on the Kate Spade sale, Type in an influencer, see what other people think, because then you're using their platform. Number seven, the easiest way I try to engage daily on their platform is to do the polls. Any user can go in and set up a poll. Hey, which is better, the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara or the Lancome Lash Idol? And you can vote. So I'll just go in on the homepage. You can like scroll across. There's a whole bunch of them. I'll just go through the polls and be like, yes, no, yep, this one, not this one. And I'll do a few of those every single day and then I'll leave. And that's the only thing that I'll do. On days that I'm not posting a picture or a review, I will just try to do a couple polls. It probably is really good for your score too if you actually create a poll. I just have never done that. Um, but I will at least try to answer other people's polls. That also sometimes gets people to follow you on Influencer, just like you would follow someone on Instagram or if you'd friend somebody on Facebook. And again, that's going to raise and boost your score on Influencer as well. So really, really easy tip, just doing those polls. You can do them for like 30 seconds and then leave the app. And that's going to help boost your engagement on their platform because that's, that's what we're trying to do here. Okay. There's one more item in this box that we haven't talked about yet. I feel like we need to get to it. Look how cute. They look like little egg carton. Isn't that cute for spring? Um, but these are effervescent bath bombs, avocado, coconut, and papaya. This is super cool. I cannot wait to try all these out so that I can review them. Okay, they smell kind of, I think they're all mixed together, so the smells are, like, confusing. But when I hold them up one at a time, yeah. So this is a cucumber avocado. I can smell the papaya in this one. Oh, but these smell so good. I know you guys want some free products. I know you do. Look at these boxes. You can do them. Follow these tips. It's going to work for you. Okay, number eight is go for the daily streaks. So I will show you here. I'm not, hopefully I actually have a streak going and I didn't ruin it. But Influencer is counting 
how often you come back to their website each day or how often you come back on their app each day. So they'll be like, woohoo, you made a 10 day streak and then you'll get like a little batch. And again, they're seeing that you're committed to them. They're seeing that you're engaging on their site. So they're probably going to be more likely to send you a box than somebody that like checks in on it every other month. You know, if they're seeing that you're not coming to their website to use their platform, they're probably not going to be as inclined to send you products. So try to get those streaks as high as you can. Even again, if it's just going to those polls and doing like two or three of them each day, that counts as a day for your streak. So try to get that as high as you can. Somebody write down below, if you're part of Influencer, what's the highest daily streak count you've ever gotten to? I would love to have that contest. Let's see who can win down in the comments. Okay, number nine, we are getting down to the wire. Number nine is kind of an obvious one that I already talked about, but do all of the required activities for your campaign. So if you get matched to a box, you're gonna see it as a campaign in the app and it's gonna go through and tell you, okay, you have to post on Sephora or you have to um, post a picture on Instagram or do a TikTok. Like it, it knows which websites you are attached to from your social media. Um, so you need, you really need to do all of those. If you don't think you can, don't accept the campaign from the get-go. It's better to turn down a campaign and say, no, I can't do this or I don't have the time to do this rather than say, yes, you're in and then not be able to complete it. Once you complete a campaign, you will get these little badges. It's like Revlon badge, the Berea pasta badge. Like you'll get these little things. Um, also, when you engage on the site, you'll get different badges. So if you review enough makeup products or you like enough pictures or you do enough polls, you'll get all these other badges. So again, the more badges you get, the more engaged you are on their social media and the more chances you have of getting boxes. Okay, my number 10 top trick is to give engagement to get engagement. Don't just go on there being like, oh, I want free stuff, I want free stuff. I want people to like my pictures so I can get free stuff. Really take the time to look at other people's pictures, look at other people's reviews, consider what they have to say, and it's gonna come back towards you. If you're engaging with other people, other people are gonna find you too. I see the same thing on Instagram. Why are people liking my picture? Why aren't they doing this? Well, what are you doing to engage on other people's pictures? Are you commenting on the things that you actually really enjoy? Did they say something that inspired you on an Instagram story? Did you comment back to them? Influencer is the same way. If somebody posted a review that helped you, tell them, hey, I really like this review and I purchased this product because of that. It'll mean something to that person and it'll show the algorithm that you're engaging on their platform. And at the end of the day, the more engagement, the better, but you have to give it in order to get it back. So guys, that was all about Influencer all about these box boxes. I'm hoping it wasn't all over the place and that I made a little bit of sense. Hopefully it is helpful for you. If you have your own tips, write them down in the comment section for other people to read. Let's all help each other. Let's grow. Let's try to get free stuff together. It really, it really is cool to get stuff sent to you. I get so excited when I come home and have a box sitting on my porch from Influencer. It's just, it's the little things in life that even something like this, that's, yeah, it's really exciting, but it's soap, you know, it's bath stuff. I was so excited. There's like a bag of pasta in here. That's what, like $4. I was so excited to get that. Don't forget, if you want to sign up for Influencer, I have a link down in the description box that will take you right there and help you get all signed up and on your way to free stuff. Lastly, if you want to see me unbox any of these, check out that playlist. I will link it below. I have a full Influencer Vox Box playlist of me unboxing, trying out makeup items, things like that. Go check out my Instagram is at Marina Cole Beauty. I post a lot of my Influencer stuff over there. Sometimes I'll do YouTube reviews and sometimes I won't, depending on what's in the box, of course. I wish you the very best of luck in your Influencer career. I hope your doorstep is flooded with Vox Boxes and I will see you next time. Bye.